There was a homeless man out walking by a frozen lake one winter evening when he heard some screaming coming from the lake. He looks out and he sees a young girl drowning, and so he slides out onto the ice and pulls her up and brings her back to shore. He's preparing to take her to the hospital when a limousine pulls up and a very wealthy man steps out. It was the girl's father. The wealthy man thanks the fellow and asks if there is anything that he can do for him for saving his daughter's life. The homeless man shuffles his feet and says, Well, sir, I am homeless and I don't have any money. If you could spare some, that would be great. The wealthy man frowns and says, I only keep $10 in my wallet, but if you come back to my mansion, I keep $50,000 in a safe and I'll give it all to you. The homeless man responds, No, sir, please, $10 is more than enough. The wealthy man shakes his hand and gives him the $10 and thanks him once more and then goes on his way. The homeless man heads into town thinking about all the ways that he can spend his $10 when he has a thought. I haven't had a vacation in a long time, he reasons. I'm going to go on a vacation. And so the man walked into town and went into the very first travel agency he could find, and he walked to the door, and he slaps that $10 right on the counter and says, Ma'am, I would like to buy a vacation, and $10 is the limit. The travel agent does her best not to outright laugh in the man's face. She has to hide a smile as she takes the $10 and heads to the back to see what they have. And as she's looking through the files, she spots an old dusty file in the back of an old dusty filing cabinet. Inside the file is just the thing that the man is looking for. A super extra economy deluxe around the world cruise for one. And wouldn't you know it, it costs just $10. And so she brings the ticket out and hands it to the man and tells him that the cruise leaves tonight at midnight. So the homeless man heads down to the docks and finds a massive cruise ship and he begins to board. But he only makes it up halfway on the gangplank when he is stopped by the captain of the ship. You can't come up here. This is for paying customers only, said the captain. But I have a ticket, says the homeless man. The captain snatches the ticket out of his hand and says, let me see that. He reads the ticket and then he glances back up the man and then he rereads the ticket once more. The captain says to the man, you do appear to have a ticket. However, I have a lot of wealthy paying customers and it would not do well for them to see you boarding the ship. I would lose money. So what I'm going to have you do is wait to board the ship until just before midnight. Is that agreeable? Well, the man agrees and he shuffles off and he finds a spot behind some boxes and he falls asleep. Midnight finally rolls around and the captain comes and wakes him up. He leads the man onto the ship and down through first class, which has gold trim on the walls and real Rembrandts and Van Goghs. The carpet is plush and everything is real, real nice. Down through second class, which is nice as well, but not quite as fancy as the first class. It has silver trim on the walls and maybe not quite so plush carpeting. Down through the third class, down through the economy deck, down through the fiesta deck, and down through the kitchen, all the way down to the hull of the ship. The captain opens the door and shows the man a 10 by 5 room with a bed, a nightstand, and an alarm clock. The captain says, your ticket states that you can only come out after midnight. That's what the alarm clock is for. The man thanks the captain, and the captain leaves. Well, the man begins to enjoy the amenities of the ship for a few days, playing one-person shuffleboard and eating all you can eat at the buffet. The man then spots the pool and decides to take a dip. He swims around for a little while when he also notices the diving board and decides, hmm, I'm going to try diving. So the man gets out of the water and gets on the diving board, gives it a few test bounces, and then dives into the water. And it is the best dive that you have ever seen. Not a single drop of water was splashed. Well, unbeknownst to the homeless man, the captain had been watching him this entire time just to make sure that he did not get into any shenanigans. The captain reveals himself to the man and says, That was the best dive I've ever seen in my entire life. Where did you learn how to dive like that? Well, the homeless man responds, Well, that was actually the first time that I've ever dove. The captain said, Well, that was amazing, and I'll tell you what. If you practice for a few days and then dive for the rest of the passengers, I will pay you, and you will be able to afford to ride in first class for the rest of the trip and have some money left over. What do you say? Well, the man agrees, and so he begins practicing his dives, his front flips, his back flips, and his twists, and his turns. But after a few days, the captain came to him and said, 
I want you to stay in your room tonight, and we're going to build you a taller diving board, and then tomorrow you will put on a show for the rest of the passengers. The man agreed and waited out the night. The next morning, the captain knocked on his door. Sir, are you ready? The man nodded and was led upstairs and into a crowd of confused passengers. What's going on? Why did the captain call us out here? The passengers muttered to each other. The captain led the man through the crowd to the diving board, and when they reached it, the man looked up and he could not see the top. The captain handed the man a radio and said, Give us a call when you get to the top so that we can be ready for you. The man nodded again and began his ascent. Up and up he went, 500 feet in the air. He looked down and he saw that the ship was getting smaller and smaller in the distance. He passed by a lone albatross bird flying by the ladder. Still further up he climbed, out through Earth's atmosphere, out past the moon, out past Mars and Jupiter, and out past Pluto, all the way to the edge of the solar system. That is when he finally reached the top. Well, he used the radio and he called back down to the captain to let him know that he was ready to go. And the captain gave him affirmative, whatever you're ready. The man dove. Faster and faster he went, hurtling back down towards the earth, passing Pluto, gaining speed, past Jupiter and past Mars, passed by the moon in a flash and entering into Earth's atmosphere, moving faster and faster, gaining speed all the time. While looking down, he sees the boat growing larger by the second. And as he passes by that one lone albatross bird and he decides now is the time that he needs to start the rest of his dive. And so he begins to do his front flips and his back flips and his twists and his turns. And he finally reaches the water and dives way down low, spilling not a single drop of water. However, his momentum carries him down to the bottom of the pool, down through the first class, down through second class, the third class, down through the fiesta deck, all the way down to the hull of the ship and all the way down to the very bottom of the ocean. Well, obviously he can't breathe underwater, and so he swims back up to the surface. The ship's crew lets out a ladder for the man to climb, and he's greeted by thunderous applause from everyone on board. The captain makes his way over to the man, clapping him on the back, and says, that was the most amazing dive I've ever seen, and I just have one question for you. How on earth did you survive going through the ship? Well, the man shuffled his feet, and he says, Well, sir, you know that I'm homeless, so I've been through many a hardship in my life. 